Hi, this is Monica Burns with Morelli Design Services. This video is a quick tutorial uh, and explanation about books to read and about pretty links and universal links in general. So let's get started here. This is the dashboard um, for books to read. Books to read is a free service that Draft Digital offers authors. It is not there's no charge, at least currently there's no charge. You do not have to publish with draft to digital in order to re use this service. But if you do have any book at all, whether it's strictly just to BNN, whether it's strictly to one of the subscription services that they publish to, you can link in that particular way. So when you have a book that's published, you can create a link and the way to do that is you click here and I'm going to create a new link just for the heck of it. When you go looking for your book itself, you want to be able to use just strictly the short end of the stick. You don't want to include the search and anything. So when you're doing the universal link, the easiest thing to do is to just grab the link with the product ASIN number. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to make this new universal link by pasting in this particular book, which as you can see here, I've highlighted just the book itself and I've put that link where it says uh, in the dialog box above the make my universal link and I'm going to click. And it's going to load up the book and it's going to automatically assign a generic type of link um, that connects to this so that when you actually create a post on Facebook, any kind of social media, you can provide that particular short link anywhere you want. And when someone clicks on it, it will take me directly to the books page with the listing of all the stores where the book is available. The true beauty of using books to read.com is that if a reader lives in Germany, when they click any of these vendors, this link is automatically going to place them on the Amazon Germany site on this book's page. Same thing goes for uh, Apple and Nook. If you were to click um, on the Kindle button here, and you live in the U.S., it's going to take you to the U.S. site. If you live in France, it's going to take you to the France site. So that is the true value using books to read because you do not have to worry about losing any international customer. It's automatically set up for you that it redirects to a particular country's actual location. Another advantage that you have using books to read is that it's not just the store specific links or country and then the store specific links. When you click on the book title here uh, in your UBL dashboard, which stands for uh, Universal Links. So when you click on your book's title, it's going to take you to your back end where it shows your Universal Link if, you, if you've actually created a custom link. It's going to show you all of the vendors where the book is located. You can actually provide the link itself if it's not showing up, or you can just do a rescan for links and they automatically go through across the internet and populate wherever they find the book is available for sale. You also can add your affiliate links by clicking uh, Affiliate Manage, and then you just add your actual affiliate codes here and they automatically add your affiliate code to the link that readers are redirected to so you're going to get the commission off of that particular book. You can also create a custom name for your URL which I've already done here. As you can see I've labeled it Mirage. I use acronyms for my book uh, whenever possible so for instance I have a couple of different series this particular book belongs in the Reckless Rockwood series and it's book three. So I came up with a acronym that I was able to get a custom link for. It does a search when you ask for a particular link 
and give you an example. If I wanted to rename this link to RRS3, it's going to check for availability. And then it's going to tell you the name's already in use. So you're going to have to try something different if it's a series. Now, I could always do one for book one in the Reckless Rockwood series. And it's going to tell me, hey, it looks like it's available. Do you want to save it or do you want to cancel? So while they provide a generic universal link, you can make it customized so that when you are working on a social media post, all you have to remember is the acronym for the particular series or the particular book. So that is really uh, all there is to it when it comes to universal links within books to read. The really beautiful thing is that readers are going to be redirected to their specific store. It's also going to direct them to the store where they live. In other words, Amazon will take a U.S. reader to the U.S. site. A German reader would be redirected to the German Amazon site. This saves you from having to try and find links for other different countries, and it also helps not missing an international sale. Now, a universal link basically is a straight link that redirects a reader to a different place. So if I were in Facebook and I were to use this particular link, it's going to take readers. So whether if I used their generic link or I used the customized link that I created, it's still going to take me to this page where the book is for sale with all the vendors where it's available. But what if Books to Read decided to start charging for this free service? Depending on how much it is, you might say, yes, great, I'm willing to pay that because it's very convenient. But what if it's really kind of overpriced and you would prefer not to do that? You can create your own universal link using another type of service. People use TinyURL, they use Bitly. But if you have a WordPress site, you have an even better control because you are creating the link on your website. For WordPress, Pretty Links is a plugin that you can add to your website. They have a free version and a pro version. The free version is pretty much everything that the pro version has, except for the fact with the pro version, you can export all of your links make changes, corrections in an Excel spreadsheet, then re-import them and add all of these links back in. As you can see, I've got 228 items here. So if I wanted to go looking for a particular link, I've got to wait on my website uh, speed. I can do an actual search. So when I do RRS5, it pulls up this particular book in the uh, series. But the real value here is that when you are uploading a new book or you're changing your back matter in all of your books, if you add that particular link into your back matter, it's going to re redirect the reader to wherever the target link sends them. So currently, right now, this is for a book bub. I want to send them to my website because of the fact that the book's not been published yet. But when it is published, I want to be able to send the reader to the BookBub website. So currently in my back matter, I might have this listed as the actual link that's displayed in the back matter. So that when the book is published, you currently have the link that looks like this in the back of, say, five or six of your books and you want to redirect a reader who's reading any of those five books to the actual sale page or to, in this case, a BookBub page, all you have to do is go into Pretty Links in your website and change the link and update it. And anywhere this link is used, whether it's a post that you put on social media that rotates automatically through on a regular basis, or whether it's any book, uh, the link is in any book, it's going to take them to the BookBub site here versus where you were originally redirecting the link to, 
which was monicaburns.com. No matter what the link is for the target to send the reader to, the final destination for the reader to land on, this link is never going to change wherever it is that you've put it. On any book, on any post, as long as you're using this particular URL link, I could send this to Joe's pool hall. And if a lit reader clicks on this universal link that I have, it's going to send them to Joe's pool hall. That is really just a brief overview of the difference between books to read and pretty links. You can also redirect your books to the books to read website in the back matter of my books. Whenever someone clicks on this particular link, it takes them straight to the books to read page. But if something happens, Books to Read goes out of business or they start charging an astronomical amount of money for their service, I can change this to whatever I want. I can send them to my website. I can change it so that they go straight to the book page on a specific vendor. The only disadvantage to doing that in the future would be I would have to create specific links for readers who are international to land on their particular country. So that's why I redirect to books to read with my pretty links, simply because if there's an international reader who's interested, I want to be able to capture that sale. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment or contact me directly at MarolliDesignServices at gmail.com or visit my website, which is MarolliDesignServices.com and use the contact form there. I'm, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I hope this video has been helpful for you and has given you a little bit better um, understanding of a universal link and how you can use it to your advantage in your books or in your social media posts. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.